Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kevin and today I'm going to tell you how to hike to the volcano eruption in Iceland in the year 2022. Now this eruption has happened before it happened in 2021 in the spring and then it kind of went for about six months into the fall. In the spring of 2021, my brother and I went there and it was completely insane. It was a giant caldera that was exploding every 10 minutes into the sky, thousands of feet, huge tons of lava insane and we also went back in the fall the whole entire landscape there changed what used to be a giant mountain valley got deleted it was all filled in with lava that cooled and turned into rock the topography there and everything is constantly changing with all these eruptions then it kind of went went dormant a little bit for a year or so and now just a couple days ago it erupted again in a slightly different way, a fissure eruption. So an entire crack of the earth there is just shooting out lava. And I'm gonna tell you how to hike there. So you got your world right here, right? You're gonna zoom in, find Iceland, this little beautiful country here. The airport is over here in the west corner. And then you're gonna type in this Glenda Gliglier volcano free parking. This is a little parking lot that they just built. That's why you can see excavators here in the satellite image. It's not even built yet. They literally built this just for the eruption. So it's all kind of under construction. At least it was when I was there. You can park there or you, there's another one down here that you can park at. And these two trails go north and meet together right here. So you're gonna land at the airport Walk out these doors here, get in a little bus. The bus takes you around the back to the rental car places. Or if you can't figure out how to use the bus like me, you just walk out through all these parking lots and then you find the rental car place that you're going with. Get your car, drive down this road here, find a gas station, get a little bit of pizza. And then once you're done eating, you're gonna drive 27 minutes down south to this parking lot here. Park your car and start walking north on this trail. Now, as you can see, this satellite image is not updated, so it's gotta be at least a year and a half old or something, but there's a guy on Twitter that kinda drew his own map right here. So here you can see the, the main road and the parking spot and the trails. So these little yellow routes are kind of ways that you can get into the area. The original way from the 2021 eruption was right here, completely insane and it filled in this entire valley with lava so the valley no longer exists. So we originally went in this way and saw all the cracking lava flowing through here. There was a lava river that went all the way through here and I actually melted my drone. This thing was flying like at least 30 feet above the river at one point and that's when it melted. The river was so hot that even 30 feet away it just boiled the bottom of this thing. Anyway, we walked up here, we saw this exploding caldera. It, anyway, that was 2021 spring. Then in the fall, all, everything changed. It was no longer exploding. It wasn't really shooting out lava at all and looked totally different. Also, by the way, it's extremely windy up here sometimes. So bring some warm clothes because it can get pretty cold. So what you're gonna wanna do, the new eruption that's going through the cracks. Now here's an image right here. This is basically what it's gonna look like. This is from yesterday. So it's kind of, exploding through this crack and this is the new thing that you're going to see you can see these people down here how small they are so this is pretty big also very dangerous because you never know what's going to happen like this whole thing just exploded out of the ground all of a sudden so go there on your own accord and uh, if you don't think it's safe then don't do it but anyway on this map this is where that crack is going to be so like i said you're going to park here walk north on this trail this one's closed because of lava so you're going to keep going north and then go up this mountain here. This is where you'll get hot and sweaty. And then once you get up here, this is where it starts to get really windy, depending on the day. Put your jacket back on and walk. Skirt this fresh lava all around the side here until you get to this crack. And that's where you're going. That's where the new thing is. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Definitely worth seeing. If you haven't seen anything like this before, if you've never seen a volcano, if you've never seen lava, it's a must do bucket list thing. So make sure you get out there and see it if you have the opportunity to. You're gonna wanna see a lot of other cool stuff too. And that's what we filmed during our last expedition there. So check out the video I just made in Iceland, including this crazy volcano. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.